So I really want to come and just show you these amazing brushes that I purchased with my own money. Yes, I was watching this young lady. I've been watching her for several years now. Um, her name is Queenie Rosenball. I'll put her name right here. She happened to um been looking she was in she was looking to buy purchase some new brushes and she was I don't know what she was gonna get, but I guess one of her followers, I'm not sure if it was on Facebook or if it was on Twitter or whatever the case was. She mentioned it in the video that she was in the arena of looking for new brushes and so someone had told her to go to this particular company and she was kind of skeptical of going because the price of the brushes so she ordered it she went out on a whim and she ordered it so when she was showing these freaking brushes excuse me for saying freaking but when she was showing these brushes i was like oh my god and when you see these brushes you're gonna be like hold on they look like something okay I'm gonna put this is how the brushes came. I, I purchased them. They came in this little thing like this. They didn't come, you know, in no type of fancy package or nothing like that. But needless to say, we purchased elf brushes and we purchased a hundred of those. We know how those do us very, very well. And then and when they go, they go and we purchase another one. So I felt like these brushes, they were like, I think, um, oh, I'll, I'll insert, I believe they were 14. 65 or 14.95 if not i'll put everything i'll put it right here somewhere or in below you ladies will know and i'll put the website below too i'm not this is not a sponsored video at all i just think this is so amazing because it makes you think these are let me show you the brushes i'm just getting so hyped right now i bought three different sets now i wanted to buy the real technique brushes and i'm still probably going to go purchase those as well but the, all the brushes that i want on a bogo so if i want to, it was buy one get one half price all the brushes that i wanted i was going to spend at least 65 dollars for all the brushes that i wanted and then if i went and i um didn't do it on a bogo it cost to be more than that because they could be some of them were 17.99 for the cord and the other you ladies know what i'm talking about then i wanted to go get these brushes sigma but they were like ridiculously expensive crown brushes i was like ugh, and then sedona lace you know another one i'm like why are these brushes so expensive but then i came across these brushes here and i'm going to show you these here this is the face brushes i still have them in the packaging because i just got them yesterday today is sunday now I ordered these, I was off on Thursday, my daughter had her uh, moving up ceremony. So I ordered them like 9 o'clock in the morning, yeah Thursday, 9 o'clock, 9.30 in the morning. I want to say by 6 o'clock, I had a confirmation saying that my brushes were shipped. Where do you do that? Then, they came on Saturday, which was yesterday. They came in two days. I was tripping. But these are the brushes. I'm going to take them out so you can see. I'm excited. And you guys know I'm all about being, you know, budget friendly, affordable, you know. I'm a beginner at this, so there's no need for me to be running out getting all these expensive brushes. Everybody says it's all about the brush. It's all about the technique. Hey, for me right now, if Kelly's a beginner, it's all about the price. And if a couple of hairs come out, hey. My elf brush is shed. My other brush is shed. Now, I will say, and everybody has been mentioning this on their videos, that the brushes do smell. Yes, they do. Some people's noses are sensitive than others. I know when I get an elf brush, I don't wash them. I just go get them out and I start using them. These brushes, I definitely will wash because there is a smell. There is a factory smell. You can definitely smell that they have been factory. They have been, um, you know, they went through some stuff. But it's not nothing to run home about. I mean, everything seems sturdy. They have their name here on the side. And this is the, um, as they would say, the pointed kabuki. This is the angle kabuki. This is the round top kabuki. And this is the flat top. Now, I'm not a real big um, foundation wearer. But honey, I will be putting on some foundation now. Because I want to put these brushes to work. I am super excited. And this set right here was $14.95 or $14.96. Something like that. I will be putting all the information so you guys will know. So I got these. 
and you know those those are those are some good dupes to the Sigmas, Sedona Lace, the Crown, all that stuff. So I got these. These look don't these look familiar as well? This was only these four right here was only nine dollars and ninety five cents or ninety or sixty five cents, something ridiculous. My total bottom line, I only sp I didn't even spend fifty. I spent like with tax was like. 46 or 40 something dollars it wasn't expensive at all this is the small kabuki you're supposed to um imitate your fingertips now again i'm gonna take these up i'm gonna wash these right after this video so i'll be putting these to use tomorrow before i go to work and i'm so excited because i have um the color tattoo and my for some reason when i do it with my finger it doesn't work good so i'm excited about using this brush to dip it in and to put it on my eyelid because I have bad to the bronze and I really don't use it like that because I don't want to do with the fingertip stuff. So I have here this is the round, angled, pointed, and flat top. So these are the small kabukis. This is again, this has the um royal care. Oh, I didn't get the name of the company. I'm so sorry. It's RC Cosmetics and it's Royal Care cosmetics that's what it stands for and it has the um thing right here on the um the handle really 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 nice brushes so again i got these and i got these now i couldn't help myself because i was just like you know what if these brushes don't work hell i've been I, it ain't gonna hurt me because I go to Target and I buy so many elf brushes. Some I, some don't make it to get washed. Some do make it to get washed. I did a brush cleaning last night on my brushes. So depending, I'm going to put those babies away. Those are going to be my old faithfuls. But I'm going to try to give these some more. Now this is the 12 piece professional set. Y'all, this was $14.95 as well. Super, super stoked. Now I've seen out of the videos that I did watch before I purchased it, besides Queenie's video, I watched maybe about 20. Because not really people had that many videos out of it, of this brush company. One person, one person complained about the brushes. Saying they were just horrible. They didn't do what she wanted to do. You know, I'm sorry. But from what I've been feeling on these brushes thus far, this is my own personal opinion. Because I bought this with my own money. These brushes are all A-OK -okay with me. Now, I'm going to take these out. This is the actual set. Let me just take these out. But, yeah, guys. I mean, check it out. You know, don't go running, purchasing nothing, not do, do your own research. But I was I was looking for some new brushes, and I was going to go, and I was talking to several people, you know, that I talked to here on Facebook. And I was asking questions like, you know, what do you think I should get? And everybody was like, get the real techniques. They're inexpensive. They're good quality. Yeah, I'm still going to go get those. I'll probably get more um, face brushes with those. I have enough eye brushes, and I don't need to have a ton of eye brushes. But, um, yeah, I'm just taking everything out just so I can show you guys. This is the 12-piece. Now, I'm just super, super amazed. And I was scared because when I was watching the video, some ladies were saying, oh, the brushes, are, they are sore. They are super sore. They were saying, oh, they're soft. You know, I'm thinking, you know, sometimes you have a soft brush. It kind of, like, matches in your face, and then you don't even get what you need from the brush. So, okay, I'm ready. <laughs> this is the powder brush. It's soft, yet a little, you know, it reminds you of, yes, an elf brush. It's super soft. And it has the name here on the handle as well. This is a, let me get the other one. And I, I'm, I'm assuming these are all synthetic. I don't, I don't I, again, I'm a beginner at this. I'm learning as I go. So please don't quote me. I'm just keeping it real with you. This here is the flat um, shader brush. And I've always wanted one of these. Because you can um, just pack the, the shadow right on the, um, the lid. And I have a small lid. So I don't need big brushes because they just not gonna work. This is an angle shader brush, and this is the um, flat. One. This is a blush brush, and this is in white. I think that is super cute. And they say when you have like white hair, I mean they could have dyed this. Who the heck knows? But they say when you have white hair, 
um, it picks up less product. So we'll see how that works out. This is the stippling brush, super soft. This is the one that the lady was kind of complaining about in her video. She was saying that when she would put it on her face, it wasn't stiff enough, so it was like mashing in, I guess, going like this. It, it is kind of, you know, soft, but I think for me personally with a BB cream, maybe even with a foundation, I think it would definitely, you know, go around the face pretty nicely. This is a foundation brush. I probably would not be, I will not be using this because I never put foundation on like a paintbrush. And this is, they say this is a concealer, so this is a double-ended brush. This is really, really cool for those ladies who like to use brushes like this. I have one brush that's double ended and I really don't care for it too much. But because you can't put it away no way. You gotta just lay it down. This is a oh I can't wait to use this brush. This is a small blending brush. So when you want to get in there, do that cut crease. I have never did a cut crease before, so I'm really, really excited about this. Really small. And it's you know, it's not soft and it's not super, super stiff. It kind of has a little give to it, so it can move around. This is a angle flat brush. Um, it's kind of thick, so I don't know what this can be used for. I know I would not use it for my eyebrows, nor would I use it for a, a gel liner. I would probably use it for eyeshadow if I want to make like maybe a sharp um, outer V. This would be good because it's, it's not. I mean, some women, if you like a thick line, this would be great for you. This is a super, super big blending brush now i have small eyes i could probably you know above the crease use this but this is for those ladies who have um a lot, uh, a lot of um lid space so this will come in handy for you and i know everyone say they have a problem with finding like good blending brushes this baby here is big and it's it's good <laughs> and this is i would say a concealer brush I would not use this as a um, eyeshadow brush, concealer under the eye, or even doing, you know, highlight in your different areas and stuff like that. Now, this is supposed to be a lip brush, and this is supposed to be a eyeliner brush. I may give this a whirl in, you know, doing eyeliner, or this one here, this could be used as a cut crease. This is really really big maybe for a lip brush a lip brush but you know who says you have to use the brush the way it's intended to be used you use the brushes however you want to but i just wanted to show you guys my new brushes you know go take a look at the website i have them stored in, i'm going to store them in here once i wash them and let them dry overnight so i can kind of play with them tomorrow I just got a little glass jar and you know if you guys want to know like some storage tips i went to the dollar store Dollar Tree to be exact and I got this here for a dollar and you can you know put little marbles or rocks or whatever you want to do on the bean bag stuff and you can store your brushes and they can look really nice just for a dollar and you know for your lipsticks I have like these little lipstick holders well they're to me I think they were intended to be like for dip but I turned them into lipstick holders and these were candle holders but um yeah this is really really cute so if you want to know more storage stuff, let me know down below. I'll definitely, definitely let you know what I got going on over here. Nothing much, nothing fancy. I don't have that much makeup. But yes, please take a look at this website and see if, you know, if you want to do some brushes. I'm super stoked because I was definitely one of ladies who had wanted to purchase those Sigma brushes. And Kelly was not feeling the price on those babies. And you can definitely get the... um. You know that case that comes with it, the, the brush holder, it's kind of like two-sided. You can kind of like put them together and do that. They have that on their site, too. I didn't want that because I knew I had these um, holders that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. I don't want to keep rambling, but yes, I am like super excited about my brushes. Yes, y'all. And that is about it. Now I got all this paper I got to clean up. So if you have any questions on what I may have experienced with the um, company, my I paid with PayPal. I have a PayPal account. If you want to know, you know, what I did, what my experiences was, I didn't even have to call customer service. That's how good it was. I'm super pleased with my brushes. If they shed, hey, I only paid under $50 for all those brushes. You know, I'm, I'm okay. I'm cool. I'm satisfied. Just leave your comments below rate comment again subscribe whatever and i may do a giveaway 
I may go back on there and purchase for you ladies. Just let me know. No, I got the wrong brush out, y'all. On these brushes. And they were only $9.95, something like that. You know, I think these would be really, really good. People would really appreciate this stuff. So, let me know your comments below. I'm tired. I'll just keep on talking. Talk to you later.